Is it possible to pick up a house for less than the price of a cup of tea? Well, amazingly, in the UK, that has become a reality. RT's Polly Boyko reports now on what's behind this Poundland fairy tale. One pound sterling doesn't buy you much nowadays, but in Stoke-on-Trent, lucky locals have managed to grab the ultimate bargain, a house. It's part of a sell-off of rundown properties in a deprived part of the city. I did sort of apply just sort of out of the blue, really, because I was saving up for a mortgage and things anyway, which when you're renting is quite hard. Um, but yeah, so it was quite a shock that, you know, it actually did go ahead, which obviously great for us because we get a house for a pound. <laughs> the snag? Many of the properties have stood abandoned for years. After the closure of the city's ceramic factories, the area started to decline. Vermin, rough sleeping, every negative thing that you can imagine. Empty properties are a magnet for those behaviours. The workers of the potteries, which is only walking distance, were all living here. And then what happened was, as the potteries factories started closing down, people had to move for work. So the community started dispersing. This area is deprived. It's riddled with antisocial behaviour like drug abuse, crime and squatting. But the local council say that the £1 scheme and the new owners moving in should help to create a sense of community and turn the area around. Applicants have to be locals, first-time buyers and earning less than £40,000 per year. To avoid entrepreneurial property developers from taking advantage of the offer, homeowners have to commit to staying in the houses for at least 10 years. This is what one pound will buy you on Century Street in Stoke-on-Trent. Now, on top of that one pound, owners have to commit to borrowing £30,000 from the local council for the renovations. And work has already started on transforming these abandoned shells and turning them into brand new properties. And through here, you can see what they're going to look like. Before the scheme came along, like many Britons, Gavin couldn't afford a deposit for a house and was paying more in rent than he will be in loan repayments to the council. In 10 years' time, I'll be sort of mortgage-free with a house. Um, and not many people can get that after 10 years. With a housing crisis leaving millions struggling to get onto the ladder, many will now be crossing their fingers, hoping they'll get a similar chance in their part of town. Polly Boyko, RT, Stoke-on-Trent.